for uh, the troops in the Gulf and to also pray for peace. And I think this is a wonderful event, and uh, I'm glad that I can be a part of it. Now tell us a little bit about the adoption process here. I see you have a star, which is obviously going to go on the big board behind us. Is that correct? Right. The way I understand this, people will come into Centennial Park today, and they will uh, come through that area. They will get their star with their soldier's name on it. That it will be put on the board. They can go over here to this other area and buy stamps, and they will be uh, there will be postcards and things there. They can take this off and send letters to their soldier, or you know. And I think they can actually write the letters while Absolutely. they're here. We're sitting on the tables on which they can write those letters or they can take them home, That's right? That's right. There will be lots of music and uh, I think kind of like a revamping of our patriotic uh, spirit. And I think we need to do that right now. This is a, a very serious thing and it's complicated and it's not going to get uh, better easy. We've got to all pull together and work together. It's, a, I think, a real uh, sensitive thing. Uh, peace is what we all should be looking for. We're all the same all over the world. Uh, pain is the same in any language. And um, we need to do a lot of praying about this, uh, but we need to support uh, our troops. I think you're right. The festivities begin at 2, is that correct? I think so. Great. That's great. And as we were saying, the activities do begin at 2 today at Centennial Park. Now